Hey there, and welcome back to Home Assistant Update 2025.6. So my favorite update for 2025.6 is the Bluetooth Visualizer. We've had this for Zigbee, and I'm so happy they've introduced this now for Bluetooth. So as you can see, if we have a look, we've got our Home Assistant over here, and then we've got the two scanners, which is my Shelly 3 version 3, and we've got our everything presence over here. Then we've got all the known devices showing here as green and the unknown devices showing here as gray. The next thing they've updated here is the entity picker. So you'll see here, first of all, it gives you a little logo over there. It tells you the area, the device name, the entity, as well as what type of entity it is. In the new experimental dashboards area, they've changed a few things. Media players. In the new experimental areas dashboards, we've got a couple of changes. So they've renamed entity to media players. They've also added actions, which is any of your scenes or automations. And then they've added an other section which is there for counters and timers. Please take note that they will be deprecating the following installation methods, both the core and the supervised, as well as 32-bit architectures. Looking at new integrations, we have a new Amazon integration. We have something for a product called Image, which is for photo and video management. We have the paperless NGX, which is a organizing and indexing system for documents. We then have Probe Plus, which looks like a meat thermometer. And then we have a meta-based Smart Hub. As usual, there are a whole lot of noteworthy improvements to existing integrations, namely BD Racco. Homey is now supporting fans as well as alarm control panels. Telemetry is improving with a hazard light binary sensor. We've got BainU, which is now improving the Shelly integration. Um, a new smart integrations with a whole range of new improvements. Melee is improving once again. We also have Agoreki, which has added a light sensor. We've got the squeeze box integration, which is a music system. We've got Ted VDB adding a status sensor. We've got Zerzang adding support for SwitchBot vacuums. Um, Daniel Vanderberg updating his Sonos integration. We've got the Coastal Plenty Core integration, which is now supporting installer logins. The Shulyaka adding support for Anthropic Claude 4. And finally, Kemily 74 adding a preset mode support for the Comet Climate integration. Melee has now reached a Platinum integration with Home Assistant, SwitchBot has received Gold, and Shelly is at Silver. We have to say farewell to RTSP to WebRTC, has been removed and replaced with GoToRTC integration. Some other noteworthy changes, add a small but neat one, Baloob, which made it so discoveries show on an integration page are now sorted by title. The Home Assistant Cloud integration will now raise an issue when your subscription has expired. More manual backup improvements. Home Assistant will now raise a repair issue if not all add-ons or folders were created successfully backed up. Agnes made it so that when an auto add-on is updated, a backup is now correctly added as an add-on. A new automatic backup event entity has been added to track automatic backups made by the system. IBO added support for Meta Pump device. The template integration got a big boost. Petro 31 added a modern style YAML support for template fans, locks, alarm panels, vacuums and covers. You can now create trigger based template covers. The trigger variables option is now supported when using four in a trigger. New template filters, you can now use from hex 
and Base64 in code, which now supports both bytes and strings. New sensor capabilities, Pacific added a new device class and units for reactive energy. A new unit for energy distance has been added. Sensors now support mg per cube meter cubed as a concentration unit. And a, excuse me, Arnie 97 has added support for liters as a unit for gas sensors. The new recorder get statistics service lets you query statistics directly from the recorder, which is pretty powerful. Some changes have been made to the sidebar whereby you can now actually sort the sidebar items as per your custom requirements, as well as being able to change this to show different items for different login types. Home Assistant has improved the way that you can join and unjoin groups of media players. You can now also restore the ID of an entity to its original value if you need to do so. What really impresses me is the number of backward incompatibility changes that we have in today's update. The only one is MetOffice. MetOffice has deprecated the data point API used by this integration, causing it to stop working. To address this now, it is now migrated to Data Hub. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've got a whole lot of new devices that have just arrived on my doorstep today. So I look forward to showing you them. And please, if you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.